Hi there, I'm the strange mechanic who could cause a panic, Derek, and I am at Universal Studios Hollywood today. I'm going to check out all the things. I have not been to this park since October of 2022, so it's been a while, um, and I am excited. I've, I'm hoping I can get into Super Nintendo World. We'll see what happens. I'm here a little late, so might not be in the cards today, but... Even then, I'm going to check out all the food. I'm going to check out the different attractions. It's been a hot second, so I hope that you'll join me as I go beyond the turnstile. here today. Um, haven't been to Universal, like I said, in a, quite a while. Um, definitely haven't been since Super Nintendo World opened. Um, really excited. So I, I did uh, just purchase my annual pass. I was a pass holder in Florida, but I'm excited to be a pass holder here in Hollywood. So let's start our day. All right, so I am inside the park. That was very easy. I just scanned the code that they gave me on my phone. Um, they issued me a ticket and then they did a fingerprint scan for the uh, biometric. But all in all, I am so excited to be back at Universal Studios Hollywood. Uh, this little park was a huge part of my childhood. Now, not as big as Disney. I was definitely more of a Disneyland kid and a Disney family. But um, I do remember coming here in the very early days of the park. Um, and just loving it. Um, they had a Wild West show that I was a huge fan of. I remember the earthquake attraction, not the, not the same as the earthquake attraction um, that was in Florida, um, but still uh, one of my favorite things in any park. So I did try to do some research before I came today because I know getting into Super Nintendo World is challenging. Um, that said, it said, you know, join the virtual queue, but the virtual queue is seemingly not available at this moment. Um, so I guess I'm going to go down there and see if they're just letting people in. That feels unlikely to me because I think every person in the park is headed that direction. But we'll see what happens. I've heard from many people to be careful as you go down the escalators. For those who don't know, Universal is divided into two sections in the upper lot, which is where most of the attractions are, and then the lower lot, which is actually down more where the studio is. Um, but the lower lot is where Super Nintendo World is. Now you have to take these escalators down. I have heard that can be a little bit of a spoiler if you look out. So I'm trying not to look across the horizon and see what Super, Min Super Nintendo World looks like. And sure, like most people out there, I've seen the photos, I've seen the videos, I know what it looks like, but I want to experience it for myself for the first time with as fresh of eyes as possible. Also, it was kind of here when I came in October, but it was closed, obviously not open yet, so um, I'm very excited. I hope this works out. Okay, so I made it down the escalators. I did my very best to shield my eyes and not look. Um, as I have heard from others, that the ride down the escalators to the lower lot can really sort of, I don't know, rob the moment of some of the, you know, amazing uniqueness of this new land and its new attractions. So, um, you know, I did my very best. I did see some peaks of bright blue sky and neon green hills, um, but let's see if they're letting people in. Feels like unlikely that there wouldn't be a virtual queue, but let's give it a try.
Okay, so this is amazing. It is so cool. It's so much cooler than I thought it was. So much cooler than any of the videos, you know, kind of made it out to be. Um, I will say this, it's incredibly busy. Like it is jam packed in here. Um, the, you are seeing the only open space on the ground, I think for probably a hundred yards. Um, it is outstanding though. I will say this to you guys, like there are a lot of people who seem to be surprised that there are so many people here. <laughs> um, it's a brand new land. Um, I waited probably, I don't know, 20 minutes or so to get in. Um, if even, um, it was not a very bad wait, but you know, there are people who are like, I can't believe there's a line just to get in. It is kind of a small one in one out kind of space. So there's no scenario where this is like just a land that you're going to wander in and out to. It's also worth noting the land itself is an attraction. There's games, there's things to do. You can get power bands and uh, accumulate points. So it's really like the entire land is gamified. It's its own experience. So just pack your patience pants if you're planning on coming here. Um, I probably won't do a ton of stuff today down here. It is incredibly busy. And also I want to come with Kevin and sort of experience the fun of this land together. But I'm feeling so excited that I got to see it. Um, I'm going to see what I can get into. Everything has pretty substantial weights and that's okay. I'm fine with that, but I'm just blown away by the theming. It's so incredibly cool. Whoa. They have these little banana caution things, which is a hilarious uh, callback to Mario Kart. I, I, I just, the details are really, really incredible. I, I cannot I cannot overstate how much it does not feel like I'm at Universal Studios. Wow. Over here there is one of the mini games. This has about a five minute wait right now. So you know even for these small games you're, you're you are gonna have a little bit of a wait. Now obviously the centerpiece to this park is... Uh, the Mario Kart Bowser Challenge. I I have heard quite a great deal about the ride vehicles. I'm not 100% sure I'm going to fit on this ride. Um, so I will probably skip that. But I... Also, a 210 minute wait. Whoa! <laughs> you have to have come here to do one thing today, I think. But it is such a cool attraction there. Um, I've seen the videos online. It has a VR element, so you can kind of see things you're actually moving in sort of a slow moving vehicle but you can see uh shells and interactive things that pop out towards you really amazing technology now i am here pretty early and toadstool is already booked out for the entire day now this will calm down eventually and this will become more of a sort of easy to access experience and all in good time um, but for right now, you know, I have, and I have heard from people who have had reservations at Toadstool that even with your reservation, you're probably still waiting about two hours. So, you know, there's a lot of great food at Universal, unless you are a person who's maybe only coming the once and not planning on coming for a few years. Again, I would say you can probably wait on Toadstool, um, but it does look like a great menu and it does look like a lot of fun. Now, down here at the front of the park, the, you can check on your status by using your power band, seeing how many points you've accumulated. And I think also based on which power band you have, like which character you pick, there's also like team rankings for the day. Let's go in here. Let's check out this 1UP factory. I believe this is the, the merchandise location.
they do still have the popcorn buckets, the Nintendo Star po uh, Power Up buckets, which were here, like, you know, basically since last summer. But um, if you were looking at these and want one, they are $39.99. Um, very cool. I think you can go, yeah, you can get them refilled uh, as many times as you like for the day of your purchase. So I came out of um, the shop and saw this little popcorn and drink stand, which has some really fun Super Mario themed drinks. I got the Princess Peach Soda. Um, this is soda with peach boba, peach puree, I think vanilla ice cream, and then um, carbonated soda. So let's give it a try. I'm super excited to try it. Mm. Whoa, very, very, very sweet, um, but delicious. This is great. It is more on the like milkshakey side because it's a float, obviously. But um, this is amazing. I'm, I've, as you've seen in our other videos, going through sort of a, I'm going through sort of a peach phase. Um, but also, I love Princess Peach. We, I, I think it's part of like the gay experience that. Um, humane female characters maybe not i mean not exclusively obviously but um you know when i was growing up i loved katana i loved melina i loved cassie i loved sonya blade um and those were more of the games that that i played um but i do enjoy mario i think mario's super fun and peach is a badass um in that movie she's so fun in the movie and such a like highlight of it. I know a lot of neck beards on the internet probably had a problem with the fact that she was so powerful. Um, but you know, like it's 2023, we can't just expect the princesses to stay in castles. This is like that storytelling was never it. Never. But <laughs> back to the drink. This is great. Um, on an e-ticket scale, I would actually give this an E. This is, this is a great, for what it is, this is a great. Yeah, you should definitely go try it. Okay, so Super Nintendo World is amazing. It is incredibly busy in there. Everything has a wait. So um, I'm glad I got to see it. I'm looking forward to coming back when it's a little more relaxed. But in the meantime, let's go enjoy the rest of the park. that I have seen it. You can see Super Mario World pretty clearly from the top of the escalators. Just taking a look kind of over at the valley. From here on a clear day, you can see the Hollywood sign. I don't think you can see it today. I think it's covered in that ha that haze sort of over there on the horizon. Um, but that's okay. Um, now, interestingly, down here... Uh, you can see the entrance of one of the Halloween Horror Nights houses coming together. 
I'm not sure what the rumor was for this particular house. I did a whole video on TikTok where I talked about the speculation map and sort of what people were saying, but I don't know what that one is. Have to wait and see. Now up at the top of the uh, escalator hill, right before you hit the upper lot, you can see that construction has started on whatever this is meant to be that is replacing the uh, Stunt Spectacular Animal... Actually, I can't remember what, what the name of this attraction is. I kept wanting to say lights, camera, like action with animals, but like I can't, I, I cannot, I think that's Florida. I'm a liar. I'm a liar and I don't know what I'm talking about. But <laughs> this is actually where they are allegedly building the Fast and the Furious coaster. The rumor is that this is a drift coaster. So as you ride along the path, it will drift and sort of the cars you're in will spin out. Um, sort of similar to the Guardians of the Galaxy ride mechanism that they have over at Epcot. Um, and then the rumor is that this um, roller coaster will actually cover almost all of this area and will go all the way down to the lower lot. So this attraction would be huge, 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 huge. Um, it'll be interesting to see. Um, you know, I, I'm i not the hugest of coaster heads, and I'm definitely not the hugest of Fast and the Furious heads, but um, could be very cool. I hear that this up here, you see this uh, sort of gold scaffolding. Let me see if I can reroute this a little better. That gold scaffolding up there on the roof is supposed to be a sound shield where they're testing to see how loud a roller coaster might actually be <laughs> um, because obviously this is in a sort of premier location that overlooks you know the whole valley um, and those screams could echo off of the mountain and be heard all over right and you don't want to disturb all of Los Angeles so we'll see what happens here um, no rumored opening date yet for that but I imagine that we will hear a bigger announcement about it probably around one of the major shareholder calls that Universal has this year. Okay, so I am going to head into the studio tour. Um, this is, in my opinion, probably like the most iconic attraction here at the park. It is roughly like 20 to 30 minutes in length. So I don't necessarily mind that 55 minute wait. I think that'll be well worth it. Um, but let's go on inside. <laughs>
good news. Looks like they caught that shark, guys. If you were planning a summer vacation, maybe uh, maybe need to be the place for you. Wait a second, guys. Uh, that's a pretty, pretty big fin out there. We've got some police divers out there. Hey, there's George. Hey, George, you, you might want to get out. Of Okay guys, so make sure we're staying seated at all times. Keep your hands and feet inside the trim. There is still a shark in the water. So, wait was a little bit long. Traction is an hour, not 30 minutes. Um, and I didn't eat breakfast. All I had was that peach soda. So it's definitely food time, but what a great attraction. One of the best in the park. Um, has Fast and the Furious, King Kong, you go through the back lot sets. The, the earthquake section is currently under repair, so that wasn't part of it today. But we saw tons of other stuff. Honestly, if you only do one attraction here, that's the one I recommend. Uh, definitely the most quintessential Universal Studios attraction ever. So, um, but food now. All right. Several dramatic developments later. I'm heading into Hogsley now. I am. I have put in a mobile order for food elsewhere but it's not gonna be ready for a little bit so and i am hungry now so i'm gonna get a little snack i think here hot meat is my favorite part of this park including now super nintendo world which is a close second but i am so in love with this series it's not necessarily its uh creator anymore but um you know this is really like the book series that made me want to read as a kid definitely just you know incredibly sentimental in my heart and i'm a giant nerd and it's uh pathetic but not to me but to some of you probably how rude okay i love all this honeydew stuff i have these measuring spoons and the mugs very cute. They, I saw this in another creator mana club video. Um, they're doing these like tea sets now. Um, pretty box. Just it's so cool. I don't I don't need more dishes. I think Kevin would kill me if I brought home another bowl or another plate. Okay. Right there.
Okay. Okay, so Honeydukes, like much of the park, is a complete madhouse. Um, so I was thinking about getting maybe like a pumpkin pasty or some sort of edible thing, but instead I got the OG, the classic, the butterbeer. Now, we talk a lot about our rating system on this channel. We talk about the A to E ticket. And for me, the qualifier of an E ticket is like, would I come back for it? Is it something I think has repeatability? Um, would I recommend a person maybe try that on their way, you know, through the park? Because um, there's a lot of great food in theme parks, but not all of it is like, oh, you got to have this, you know? Um, to me, this is the pinnacle E ticket. Now, this is just the classic. They do make it in a frozen. And I think you can get the hot one in three broomsticks in Hollywood. You can get it all over the parks in Florida, but um, it is, I think, maybe the most quintessential thing you can get in any theme park as far as a beverage goes. Yes, I said that. Um, and yeah, I think you should absolutely get one. It, it is, you haven't really come to Universal if you didn't get a butter beer. Now, for people who haven't had it, they may be wondering what does butter beer taste like? Kind of has like a shortbread cookie flavor, and then there's like a marshmallowy cupcake type topping on the top. It's really, really good. Um, during the summer, I definitely recommend the frozen one, but the OG, you can't go wrong with. Um, I think the hot one is too sweet, in my personal opinion. But, you know, I'm not here to yuck any yums. Now, just a general rule and opinion for me, um, Harry Potter World in Florida is... 10 million times better. Not just because they have Diagon Alley, which is, you know, arguably one of the best themed lands in any theme park anywhere in the entire world. But um, even though Hogsmeade has more attractions, it's it's just a little bit better. There's quite a bit more theming. Whereas I feel like here, you're not quite as immersed in the storytelling as you are in Florida. That said, I gotta tell you, the one here in uh, Hollywood has a hundred percent better spacing than the one in Florida. The one in Florida was made very true to the film, and so it has kind of these narrow alleys that you can sort of duck through, but when you fill that with 5,000 tourists, it, you know, it, it's not, it's not the vibe. It's not the vibe. But you can still have an amazing time here at uh, Hollywood. It occurs to me, I mentioned off-camera drama and didn't tell any of you <laughs> what it was. So after I got my uh, peach punch thing, I waited around for Jurassic World to open for a little bit and I was kind of hanging out in the area. I looked at the dinosaurs and then I was like, oh, let's just go on the uh, tour. When I went to go grab food immediately following the tour, I realized I did not have my wallet. Ran up to guest relations put in a lost and found claim. Everyone was wonderful. The staff was, you know, killer. They did an amazing job. Um, and be very polite to all cast members at any theme park, anytime something's going wrong, it's not their fault. Um, and in this instance, it's a hundred percent mine. Um, they, my wallet had fallen out of my pocket. Um, I have a tile location tracker because believe it or not, I lose things all the time. Um, and Fortunately, the cast member who found my wallet knew how to use the tile. It notified me that the wall, uh, wallet had been found. So I ran back down to the lower lot and grabbed that. And uh, now everything's good. Wallet secured again. But, um, you know, just things can get stressful in a theme park. Things can go wrong. It's really important to always just on your best behavior you know this is some people's vacation and you know hopefully no one out there is doing anything too crazy or picking any fights but i have seen a lot of videos on the internet of people being very uncool when they're stressed out so that's my little sermon my little uh Diagon Alley, not Diagon Alley, hogsmeade sermon let's hop into the shop it's going to dervish and banshees bangs i've never really learned Now, Dervish and Bangs, or Bangies, or Bangs, is sort of your stationary location. This is a new version of this wallet. I used to have this wallet for many, many years. Probably here. The book 
over here making some noises. There's also a wide variety of um, Quidditch merchandise in this location. So you can get jerseys here. I'm not sure. I know in Florida you can get them customized if you'd like. Um, with your name on the back. I don't I don't know if they offer that service here or not. There's a selection of keychains here. Look at these little neckties. Oh my gosh, look. It's, it's Kevin and I together. But who's who? You'll have to guess. Guess in the comments. You can probably guess. It's probably not that hard. There is Cho Chang's dress from the Yule Ball. This is screen used. So a wide collection of different apparel items here, robes, etc. Now you can purchase these interactive wands throughout the park, but particularly at Ollivander's Wand Shop, they cause uh, interactions throughout the park. When you do a gesture, say a certain spell, you will be able to make magic happen here in the park. This is so cool. What? This illusion is very effective. How? 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 How did they do that? I just saw the craziest thing. So earlier I mentioned like if you're traveling into Hogsmeade, you might not be able to find Coca-Cola or some of the more traditional things because they want to keep the theming and you know keep the illusion. Um, there absolutely was a cart with like Modelo's <laughs> and Miss Vicky's chips. Um, so that has changed. They now they're like, whatever. Well, people want Modelo. We're gonna sell them Modelo. This is Southern California. Drink up. a trip to Hogsmeade without a stop by the Hogwarts castle. This is the home to Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. It is the premier Harry Potter attraction, the original. Um, there have since been additional attractions that have opened in Florida and some of the international parks. This is the OG. So the first time I actually saw the Hogwarts castle in the theme parks was in Japan. They hadn't opened the one in Hollywood yet. Um, I hadn't been to Florida yet. And um, I gotta say, like, I wept. I, I thought it was the most beautiful thing. You know, I thought the attraction was amazing. Um, makes me a little nauseous now. So I'm not going to go on it right now. Um, but I really, just the most incredible attraction. It's absolutely worth walking through the queue, too, if you've never been here. Even if you're a person who gets motion sick, I still think you should walk through the queue. It's like really being inside of the movies. Hogwarts Castle is also home to Filch's Emporium. This is one of the larger retail locations here. And the idea is you are in the collection of items that Filch has confiscated from various students. Let's see what they got going on. So here we have a collection of Felix Felicis which is the good liquid luck uh, potion that they enjoy in, I want to say, six, book six. Um, very funny sequence in the movies. There's some stationery here. Looks like a tear-off weekly calendar. This is cute. How much? Ooh, 15. Okay. Well, it's not that bad, but... I want that to be eight dollars. I'm being honest with myself, but I realize where I am. Look at these cute little bags. A selection of ornaments here. Oh my gosh, a nice fat lady. That's the name of the character, not an opinion on anybody. 
Hopefully you all know that. Um, there's a butter mirror mug. These are so cute. Hmm. I love this. Oh wow, this is fancy. Like a pewter. That is real heavy. How much is this? $30. I actually think that's a pretty good deal for that. It feels substantial and like it's of a really high quality, more of a collectible than just like a theme park, you know, trinket. Whole like house elf section here. Are, are people attached to the house elves? I mean, I know people cry when Dobby dies. Oop, spoiler. Oop, sorry. Hopefully you've all seen these movies by now, but. Um, yeah, I don't know. A Free the House Elves mug feels weird to me. There's a whole section here of sort of Death Eater dark arts merch. Um, a lot of it is Azkaban themed Death Eater masks and stuff. I just, I don't, I don't know who is like loving the Death Eaters, you know what I mean? Oh. You, you didn't see that. You didn't see that. That's uh, that's a temporary tattoo. Um, yeah. So maybe at one point in my life, I might have gotten a huge Death Eater tattoo because um, I love the reference, and I, you know, like I said, books mean a ton to me, um, and. I was like, oh, I'll get that. It'll be fun. It's kind of like a cool reference. And then, like, you know, as I sat with it, they, they are sort of, you know, the fascists of the wizarding world. And I, now that fascists are like a real thing, uh, I mean, not that they, they always were, but they're, you know, on the rise. Kind of wish I didn't have like a fictional fascist statue. You know what I mean? Still love it. Still, still love to take a second to show you guys this. This is one of the entrances to the Halloween Horror Nights mazes. It is in progress, coming along. I believe that this is the rumored uh, Universal Monsters in France Phantom of the Opera maze, but uh, any sign of Halloween Horror Nights just gets me so excited. It is my favorite event. Um, I also love Not Scary Farm. Hard to pick amongst my children, but... Uh, I just love Halloween and I love haunts and I love the scary mazes.
Okay, I found it. I think this is what Kevin needs. Right? Fifteen dollars. Oh my god. It's, the gag's not worth it. The gag's not worth it. Okay, so we have got the, our food from the Minion Cafe. First time trying anything from here. So this is the Parmesan Meatball Grilled Cheese with Tomato Soup and Crinkle Cut Fries. And then this is a Banana Pudding with Nutella, I want to say, and cookies. And then, obviously, Crispy DC. So... I'm so excited for this. It has been so many hours and I have not eaten anything. It is, as of recording, almost four o'clock. Um, and this is the first real food I'm having today. Oh my God. All right. So first up, let's try one of the fries. Just straightforward. You know, it's not the best theme park French fry. Um, I can't remember where that is. There's a place, though, that has the most amazing theme park french fries. And it's not somewhere I would think would be all that great, but they are. I'm going to put it here. Because I'll remember later when I'm driving home. But these are fine. You know, like most theme park french fries come from a frozen bag. They're whatever, you know. Um, but let's try this grilled cheese. You know, it's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. It could be that I'm so hungry, but also it's got pretty good flavor to it. You know, you can, the meatballs taste great to me. Flavors are super good. I think I'm going to try it dipped in this tomato soup they gave me. I, I think it's great on its own. And it kind of has tomato sauce on it, so I don't know if it needs it. But, you know, can't, can't go wrong. All right, and let's try this banana pudding. Now, I love banana pudding. It does not have cookies. I thought it did. It's Nutella here at the bottom, and then cookies, and then whipped cream. So, and then this is, seems to be, like, maybe fondant. This is this up here is definitely fondant. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's fondant. Let's see how it is. Okay, um, it's fine. It's absolutely like a pre-packaged Jello pudding. I don't think that's real Nutella at the bottom. It's probably Nutella mixed into some sort of pudding or something like that. I'll actually check the site because maybe it says that on there. It's fine. If you came to Minion Land, you're like, I want banana something, which is what I did. Um, yeah, you'll, you, you'll be fine with it. For me, though, I'm actually, I'm going to give this an A ticket. So this is this is the bottom for me. Again, not that it's bad. In that case, I think I would say that there's just no ticket for this. But it's just, you can make this at home. And it won't cost you what it costs here. Which is this. That's too many money for this. Too many money. But all in all, you know, I liked Minion Cafe. Would I come back? Not unless I was here with like our goddaughter who may or may not like minions. I actually don't know. We'll find out. But that's like really the only scenario. If I was here with a small child who liked minions, I would come here again. Otherwise, I think you can do better. The you know, Universal has been really upping its food game, and this was good, but it wasn't great. And I think that there is great food here. And you can see back here where the construction is going on. They've taken down some chunks of the building. Um, and I believe that this is actually 
sort of the whole area where the attraction will um, actually be. So should be should be pretty cool. Well, what a day. Um, so I hope you enjoyed coming along with me for this day. Today was a little bit hectic with the wallet loss and just, it was so busy here in the parks. Um, the summer crowds are definitely here. They are in full swing. Um, so I didn't get to do everything that I wanted to do today, but that is the great part about being an annual pass holder is that you can come back multiple times, enjoy different attractions. There's still tons in this park that I had never done and never seen. And so I am looking forward to coming here a lot more. Um, and engaging with the parks in a different way, making lots of new content for you guys. If there's anything you want to see, be sure to comment below. Comments really help us out in the algorithm, and we would love and appreciate any support that you can give us for our new um, up-and-coming channel. And so any engagement you give us really helps us out in the algorithm and finding our audience. Um, we are also on all socials. You can follow us on Twitter. You can follow us on um, TikTok. You can follow us on Instagram. And uh, we would love to see you there as well. We've got fun content going on everywhere. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. And until next time, guys, that's a wrap on Universal Studios Hollywood. Bye.